Hey everybody and welcome back to another cinematography lighting breakdown. In this episode we take a look at a scene from Ad Astra, the beat by Hoytman Hoytman. The movie was shot primarily on Kodak 35 film, as you might have guessed, by just looking from some shots. I think you will find this scene particularly interesting for a breakdown and you will see why. But for those of you who just came across this channel, welcome to the breakdown videos where we go through some examples from movies, commercials, breaking down the lighting, framing and trying to find some ideas that we all can take away from these nice shots to be better videographers, cinematographers and video creators ourselves. You can find previous breakdowns of this series here. We were analyzing shots from Peaky Blinders, No Country for Old Man, Bridge of Spies, Heineken commercial with Daniel Craig, The Wolf of Wall Street, Inside Louis Davis, check them out and if you like this content, consider subscribing and sharing. And now let's begin the breakdown. Let's see the wide shot first, uh, so we have a clear understanding of actors blocking for this scene. Brad Pitt enters the boardroom, shakes hands with Spacecom authorities and then the conversation begins. The key light in this scene comes from above, as we can clearly tell from both these gentlemen and uh, also how the light falls on the chairs here. The source of this light is quite soft, so the light has a gradual very gentle fall off without making a hard shadow. Then we want to keep the foreground darker and we place black negative fill from the camera side. We need to keep this top light from hitting walls, so this big ceiling softbox should be controlled with egg crates uh, to prevent the light from spilling everywhere in the room. This big white screen on the background, for example, is one of the things you definitely want to keep from being illuminated. So it doesn't distract attention, doesn't draw attention to itself. And look how down and level it is. We're keeping the walls dark for contrast and we're spicing our shot with some light pools here and there from warm practicals and this white light. The dialogue starts and uh, know that while we are lighting from above, the camera is still on the shadow side. The DP avoids this flat lighting, avoids an equal light level on both sides of uh, Brad Pitt's face. And we are dimming down the light on the left side of the frame. The background level is very, very low, even though it's uh, just a boring wall with a plant on the background, it doesn't draw attention to itself and the shot is not flat. Of course we need to mention the analogous color palette here, all these dark greenish tints of the uniforms and the background with orangey tones uh, of skin. Let's see uh, the reverse over the shoulder on two commanders and as a general rule of thumb we are keeping the foreground shoulder dark in these situations. We can see the reflection of this top light unit on the glass bottle here, and it's very soft. Uh, look at the gradual light fall off on their heads, of course shooting on something like Kodak film is very forgiving in terms of highlights, and this top unit comes from above and just ever so slightly from behind. So we have slightly less level in this uh, area and it also helps separating characters from the background. The DP decided not to add any highlight for this person. This is how it looks naturally from this top light. Moving on to the medium shot on Brad Pitt and here we are adding a slight side push uh, from frame right you can see this light, very gentle, very soft, also on plant. And our light on this movie star is more sidey now. It's more flattering than just a top light by itself. 
And now we are able to see his eyes much better compared to the person from the previous shot who had just a top light. Let's take a look at tighter shots. And the light on Brad Pitt is the same as in previous one. Top light with side light from frame right. So the camera is on the shadow side of the interaction line. The background wall is not evenly flat lit. So we are adding some gentle soft light from below and now we can see some texture on this wall from lines and shadows. But for the tight shot on the general, the situation changed. Remember how dark his eyes were under that top light. Let's go back and take a look. On this tighter shot, we definitely can't afford to be that dark. So we need to add some light to his eyes. We are doing the same trick as we done with Brad Pitt. We are adding some side light that increases the ripeness quality of the top light and reaches deeper to his eye sockets, making his eyes much more alive. Top light now is a bit less in intensity, so we have more pleasing ratio between top light and the side light. But here is the interesting thing to note. This side light comes from the direction that is opposite to where pit side light came from. It's supposed to come from the left side of the frame, but it comes from right. And this also puts the camera on the same side the light comes from. We will see later on why this direction of shining the light from the right side uh, instead of the left side had been made, but even in this unfavorable situation, when we find ourselves having to shoot into the light instead of into the shadow, his face doesn't look flat. And why is it so? It's because the light is very soft. Here's a general rule of thumb. If you choose to do downstage key lighting, where the camera is on the same side the light comes from, make your light soft. Just imagine the hard light jumping from one side to another when you cut between the characters. And now we see why that lighting decision was made. Because we need to cut to another white and we want to backlight our characters. Now we can see our top light just a bit and here's the same trick we discussed in the Wolf of Wall Street breakdown. We block our characters the way that they are not directly positioned under the top light source, but rather on the edge of it, like we see here. They are sitting on the edge of the table, not directly under this softbox. By doing so, we automatically have the light from above backlighting the characters, and we don't have a spill on the foreground. So the foreground is dark and it adds depth to the shot. But when Brad Pitt's character sits down to continue the conversation, we are again breaking the light and continuity, and we are adding the side light from frame right, when from the previous white, it is supposed to come from the left side, obviously. But by doing this, we are again having the camera on the shadow side, and the life is good again. So light and continuity, we never really heard of it. And that's our breakdown for today. You can find much more in my mini courses – day interior lighting and night interior lighting. For just $39 you can get a solid knowledge on how to approach lighting for your next shoot and some ideas that are less talked about. Hope you picked some knowledge from this breakdown and if so, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, share the content and thank you, thank you for your support. As always. I'm happy to see your comments below. Don't forget to check out the previous episodes, Peaky Blinders, No Country for Old Men, Bridge of Spies, Heineken Commercial, aka No Time to Die with Daniel Craig, The Wolf of Wall Street, Inside Louis Davis. Stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.